And there is a little prayer. May the may the uh, sails of the boats. There's a boat sail filled with wind, and that's the beginning of the King of Name, and it disappears under the block. Meaning. Meaning, you know, like we have to build this pyramid in a hurry and we need wind on the river to move these blocks over. So this actually relates to a work gang. Oh, this is, this, you are looking at the pyramid being built here. This is the pyramid in action. That's why it's worth a struggle almost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat it. Yeah, thank right. you. Yeah, thank you. So this is the final vault. You almost want to pinch yourself. Amongst the 19th and 20th century graffiti of early Egyptologists is the proof the pyramid was built by the king. And there is the name of Khufu in the ring. Yeah, yeah. Just along the wall. And everywhere, the red, obsessively straight survey lines from four and a half thousand years ago, showing how each rock fitted exactly into place. Yep. So that one there will line up with that one there. These spaces were added so the roof of the burial chamber didn't collapse under the weight of the top half of the pyramid. Those are the fingerprints of the guys that made the Great Pyramid. So just reach out and touch the people who made the Great Pyramid. Almost feels like sacrilege. Look at that, look at that, look at that. You can touch them. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, it's amazing. Every stone means something to me now. Uh, it's very moving, actually. Very moving indeed. Our next step back in time is down to the nearby limestone quarry, where the ancient workers also left their mark. Master craftsmen at work on a masterpiece. So how did they physically get the rock from here to the pyramid? Yeah. They built this enormous rack. The great thing is, that you can get half a dozen men and a lot of water, stick it a stone on mud, and you can slide it like ice. So they were rock haulers from way back. Rock haulers and loving it, apparently, from what I can gather. <laughs> so what about this th this idea that these were slaves who, who had to work these quarries, that they weren't willing workers at all? No, this is a work of passion, I think. This is passion you're looking at here. The sheer integrity of this work, the, the purity, the... Nobody gets... If, if you're working to hundreds of an inch, it doesn't help with somebody whacking you on the back. At the height of construction, there were 25,000 men building the pyramid, and John's also discovered they made it far more quickly than first thought. On average, these stones each weigh two and a half tonnes. There's just over two million of them, each chiselled to fit the other. A bit like a jigsaw puzzle, if you like. It's precise, intricate work, but there was also a building frenzy going on here. The ancient Egyptians were laying these enormous stones, two of them, every three minutes. Now, they slowed down a little bit as they got towards the top, but overall, they kept up that frantic pace for 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. And not a lot, is it? No, not for something so big. It's absolute overkill. They never did it again. It's just this one unique building. Uh, what was magical to them when they finished it, as it would be to you and I if we'd finished it, it's like, we just made that? That's incredible. Wouldn't you love to have seen the Great Pyramid back then, before its limestone casing was ransacked in all its white, gleaming glory? So, tell me what they would see coming up here. Well, you've got to remember, they're going into darkness down there, and they're walking up this really tiny little corridor, up a quite steep hill for a mile and a half. Their Go back four and a half thousand years, worshippers walking up a black rock corridor to pay their respects to the dead king. Now, the magic thing is, and this is showbiz architecture you've got here. This... Today, we're still impressed by the Great Pyramid's imposing size. 146 metres high, 230 metres wide each side. In ancient times, it dwarfed all other buildings. And as those visitors entered the temple at its base, it was as if they were entering another world. You'd come here, you'd have come to the stone, you'd have thrown the doors open, and it would have physically hit you in the eyes. Whammo! There is this pure white pyramid, this perfect white geometric shape. 
by nothing anybody had seen in the world before, like a Cadillac parked in the jungle. This is extraordinary. You must have thought they died and gone to heaven, which, actually, is exactly what they were doing. <laughs> How beautiful. What a beautiful picture you've had.